Connecting a product to Lulu Direct. To connect a product to Lulu Direct, you first need to publish a print project in your Lulu account. Once your project has been published on Lulu, visit the Lulu Direct dashboard and scroll down to Your Stores. Click the Connect a Store button. Enter your store URL, click Connect Woo Commerce, then choose Approve. Once connected, click on your Active Stores URL, then click Store Settings. There are optional settings on this page, but the only required setting you will need to update is the billing address. Click Update Contact Information, then add a billing address. Click Update Contact Information to save. Now that you have a published project in your Lulu account and have connected your WooCommerce store to Lulu Direct, it's time to connect your products. From the dashboard, click on your Active Stores URL, then click Add Product. In this example, we will connect a new product to WooCommerce through Lulu Direct. Click Create a New Product. From the Select a Lulu Project dropdown, choose the Lulu project you want to connect to WooCommerce. Add or edit the product name, description, and retail price. Click Add Product. The product status should now say Active. If the status is listed as Processing, you may have to refresh the page. Setting up shipping. By default, your orders will be shipped using the least expensive available shipping method Lulu offers. We recommend setting up your WooCommerce shipping based on a single flat rate. This will give customers one option for shipping during checkout and will charge customers the same cost for shipping no matter where they are shipping their order. First, use Lulu's pricing calculator to determine how much mail shipping will cost for the locations you'd like to ship to. Enter in your book's specifications, then enter in the number of copies and shipping country. Next, navigate to your WordPress admin dashboard. Click WooCommerce, then select Settings. On the WooCommerce Settings page, select Shipping, then click Locations Not Covered by Your Other Zones. Next, click Add Shipping Method, select Flat Rate, then click the Add Shipping Method button again. After adding the flat rate, click Edit under Flat Rate, and enter the price you want to charge your customers for shipping. In this example, I'm anticipating my customers will only purchase one or two copies each, so I'll set my flat rate to $6. If you'd like to set up quantity-based flat rate shipping, see WooCommerce's tooltip here. Click Save Changes. Creating a test order. Now that you have your product connected and shipping options created, Let's test to make sure everything is set up correctly by placing a test order. Go to your Orders page in WooCommerce and click Add Order. Add your information to the Billing and Shipping Address fields. Set the payment status to Completed. Click Add Items, then Add Products. Search for your product, then click Add. Under Order Actions, click Email Invoice slash Order Details to Customer. Click Create. Go back to the Lulu Direct dashboard and click Store Orders. You should see your order listed here. Note that it may take a few minutes to appear. By default, you must manually approve your orders before they enter production. Automatic order approval can be enabled in your store settings. Click on the order. Notice that you can update the shipping address and shipping method on the next page. From here, click Accept. Enter your payment information and let the order ship to you as a test copy. Congratulations! You can now begin selling with Lulu Direct.